Hello everyone, I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, it's Saturday here in Texas. Nice and hot, just the way it should be. I love this kind of weather. I'd rather have the heat any day than uh, anything cold. I'll enjoy a cold, cold weather day uh, from time to time, but um, nah, it, give me the heat. Give me heat. So uh, again, I hope everyone's doing well. And those that are not, I uh, hope that uh, somehow it gets a little bit better for you guys. So today, I'm going to touch a little bit on a book that I'm reading. The name of the book is The Power Behind the Throne. The uh, name of the author is Dean Quinsenberry. Uh, it's Dean, D-E-N-E, -E, not D-E-A-N. Um... Before I start on that, let me let me uh, say uh, we need to read more. Uh, we don't read enough. Uh, I know that sometimes you know we get home tired or uh, and life gets in the way. I understand that, but there's something about reading that one takes you somewhere, maybe somewhere you've never been. Those of us that have not been able to travel a lot, a book can take you somewhere, and, and your imagination will start building this character that you're reading, the locations, you know, you try to picture them. Sometimes by what you have around you, surrounded on you. Uh, and if you've never been surrounded by anything, like a big city, if you live in a small town, uh, well, you look at, you watch movies and stuff like that. So you kind of start piecing your own scene to this book that you're reading and you build your character your way. Right. Uh, also, uh, I, I really think that reading improves one's vocabulary. Uh, you start uh, using words that we don't use as often as we should. I really think that if you are well spoken, you can get further in life. I've, I've told young men that get used to using certain vocabulary uh, that it makes them, it brings you down some. You know, it brings you down uh, when you're trying to apply for a job, for example. Right? And the person that's sitting across the table that's going to hire you, let's just say it's an owner of, of, a, of a business or something, you're going to be representing them. And they're going to want someone that represents them well. You're a representation of, of that person. So using certain vocabulary, even if you think like, oh, I can, I can, uh, control myself, right? I know how to control myself around people. I, honestly, you don't because you're so used to it that or one gets so used to using certain vocabulary that you get trapped into in that group, in that area of, of thinking. Uh, if that makes any sense. So it, it's, it does improve your vocabulary. There are words that uh, we'll be able to use Especially when you're talking to someone, because you, you, you never know who you're going to meet. You never know who you're, who you may be sitting at at a at a restaurant or a bar or a, at a gathering uh, that may be able to help you, influence you, uh, different, um, give you an opportunity. So, yes, read, read more. That's a totally different rant. Now, going back to this book, the way I've uh, read books in the past, and it's been a long time. Uh, you know, if the book was good, I'd sit down, read it, finish it like in a day and a half or whatever, depending on you know how much time I had, uh, a few hours sometimes, you know, and and just you know go from cover to cover and finish it. 
and it has to grab you, obviously. And there's got to be a genre that you like, sci-fi, mystery, uh, you know, just whatever genre you like, fantasy, romance, you know, whatever it may be. But to me, the book has to grab me, like, almost right away. Right? And there's been very few books that have grabbed me right away. I've, I've pushed through some books that in the end uh, I liked, but I've picked up books that don't grab me right away, and it's like, uh, I don't, you know, I, I don't want to, I don't want to waste my time, I guess I can say, right? So, the book may be great, but it doesn't, if it doesn't kind of like right away grab me, you know, grab my attention, then to me, it's not going to be a good book. Now, I could be wrong again, you know, but that's just my way of, of continuing to read a, 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 a book. So, The Power Behind the Throne, <clears throat> what I'm gathering is a little bit of historical fiction, I guess you can say, that is, I think goes all the way up to, uh, I, I'm thinking AI technology, but the way I've started reading books now, again, it's been a while, uh, the last book I read was, guy's last name was uh, Bell, but I can, Ted Bell, maybe? Um, great, great author, great book. I mean, he got me in the first three or four pages. I was like, oh, wow, this is, this is a good book. I was kind of, um, like a spy, FBI, CIA, Secret Service type book. You know, kind of like, um, what's the one where Morgan Freeman is the president or the vice president, uh, where they take over the White House and they're hunting the president. Anyway, kind of, you know, that, that that kind of book. Whoa. People know how to drive, man. Um, so this book, that I, uh, Power Behind the Throne, it grabbed me pretty much right away. Uh, I, I would say chapter one. And then uh, what I've noticed on this book is the chapters are fairly small. Now, the further I go in, the chapters may be a little bit longer, but I'm on chapter eight, and chapter eight was only two pages, right, front and back. Um, but it's it's pretty good, and there's some, what, what has gotten me to keep reading this book is the scenes that are set up. Right. The exchange in conversations, the lines uh, that are delivered uh, in, in, in the scenes are, are they've, they've had me laughing. They, uh, most of them had me laughing. I think that's what one of the things that's gotten me. I read, uh, like I said today, chapter eight, and oh my God, it was just two pages. Uh, and it was a scene in a bar, a uh, little tavern type, pub type of uh, location. And I swear, I, I laughed out loud when I read that, those two pages. Uh, it was, you know, like it, it, the author kind of gives you, uh, you know, a little brief type relationship that the two people might have but there was the exchange that they had that had me laughing oh my god I could not stop laughing and it was just like real quick like I said it's only two pages uh, it gives a very 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 brief little history of these two guys and of how, I guess of how they know each other It's almost um, they're good friends, but not that good, if that makes any sense. 
that's that's the that's what I got out of it, All right? Um, it was it's pretty neat. I I, I recommend this book. Um, I'll, I'll give a, a a bit of a story on the author maybe later on if I continue to give you all some information on this book. I'll you know, give you some information on the author. Um, but yeah, so far, eight chapters in. Again, they're very short chapters. It's an easy read. It's not confusing. At least it's not confusing to me, and I'm not the most educated person in the world. Um, hey, I finished high school, and that's about it. Uh, but it, it's 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 a very good book. That's all I can say. I, I'm very pleased with it. I, I, I really like the the way this author has given these little things. Uh, it, it's just, you, I hope so. I hope others uh, read it. it. It's a very good book. It's a very very good book. Go go, go out and, and get it. Uh, Heck, if you if you you know, it's not that expensive. It's I think it's like three hundred and three hundred sixty four pages altogether. Um, it's worth the you know fifteen dollars. It's, it's a good uh, little little novel. Uh, I guess you can say is it called a novel? Yeah, it's, it's a good book. Um, I recommend it. I, I do. Go out and get it. it it's really good. I, I just I'm I'm I've all, I'm already looking forward to the next chapter. Like I said I, I I'm reading. Okay, I didn't say, but I have started reading this book like uh, like if I'm watching a series. Right, each chapter is an episode. Now this last episode was a real small episode. So building uh, the whole thing, you know, say it's a 30 minute episode, building that whole thing in your mind in two pages, uh, you, me, um, I am building this location up, this little tavern, this little bar, you know, I'm trying to picture what it may look like. Uh, is it a, a East Coast type of bar? Is it a, you know, California, more of a California setting? Uh, somewhere in the Midwest, you know, like a little pub type thing. Uh, I've been lucky. I've traveled overseas. Uh, I was in, in, uh, in Germany. And I, I got to see a, a bit of Europe. And I'm trying to think, oh, it, would it be a, one of those type of bars? And that's why I'm saying, you know, when you read, your imagination starts trying to picture um, locations, uh, characters, you know, what they may look like, what the place may look like. And that's what I'm doing. How, you know, the lighting, you know, how are the, is it a, are they booths, tables, uh, is there a dartboard, um, you know, what kind of pictures are on the wall. The, all those things start running through my mind. And, and I think... Uh, that, that's one of the good things about reading. You, you start using your imagination more. Uh, there has to be some kind of helpfulness to you, to your to your mind, to your brain, to, uh, if you're able to do those things. You know, your create creativity uh, might grow a little bit more. But yes, uh, I recommend the book. I said it, it, it got me it it, it got me uh, and like I said I'll, I'll uh, speak on the author a little bit more later uh, but yes power behind the throne uh, guys uh, go out and read it go out and get it uh, you can't afford it you know uh, see if someone else has it or go to the library you know get it from the library uh, you don't have to have money to get a book you can get it off the library half price books, I guess you might be able to get it, you know, from there. Um, but yes, 
Uh, I hope um, I inspire someone to read this book or a book. Doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be this book. Just a book. Uh, all right, guys. As always, live your life, live it well. Uh, try to improve daily. Thank you.